welcome to the channel. We'll, we'll have a new train wreck today. If uh, today is anything like yesterday. Okay, today we are in Feral Phantom. And if you just look at what we got going on. 28 wins out of 28 wars. They're perfect. They have tons of perfect games out there. Uh, first attack is by... We'll just get right into it. First attack is by Joan. He's, he does a Dragaloon. Uh, Town Hall 8 on Town Hall 8. Uh, great, great attacker for his for his uh, little baby size, little Town Hall Eight, down in the bottom of the clan. Uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get into how these guys are doing it here in a second. We'll introduce some of the guys. Uh, I actually have their 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 record. Now I'm not a permanent member of the clan, so we're not going to get into too much of their private stuff. But I'm sure they won't mind me showing their war record because it is just impeccable. These guys have just murdered everybody. They, they, they're not an engineered clan. They don't have a bunch of lopsided bases. They do it head to head, toe to toe. Love that kind of action. So, first attack by Jung. Just comes and then perfect attack for the clan. Just comes in head to head. Comes in with eight or nine dragons. Follows it up with some balloons. Perfect spell placement. Brings in his level 10 king. Try to distract some defenses right there at the end. Pulls the archer off the dragons. He just blows his base away. It's not a not a max town hall eight, but but it doesn't matter though. It had it had max air defenses, and we all know in town hall eight, uh, level three dragons do not stand up to their level five air defenses. It's just the way it works out. So good attack. Jung is a just excellent player for these guys. He's all over the place. Uh, now I don't know the the clan that well, so if I if I give props to someone that's kind of uh, new to the clan, sorry guys, I just kind of call it like I see it. I got a very small little window in the clan, and it's been a really cool time here. I've been here four or five days now. Uh, I was planning on staying one war, and they started another one right away, so I got to, I got to get into two, so that's pretty cool for me. Of course. Um, I can't tell how many times I've three starred on these like simple, simple Town Hall 9 bases that in war, in the first war I was in with these guys, I barely got the star. And that's just so typical of, of, of how things go for me sometimes. Uh, anyway, enough bitching. I, I promised I wouldn't bitch too much this video. <coughs> so, one attack down. I, w I want to show you the record here for a second. It's right after this attack, five or six seconds from now. It's a, it's nothing but a sea of green, which of course you'll expect that with the 28 wins. But I want to show you just more than just the wins. I want to show you the losses. I'm not sure of how well this is, uh, you know, pre-recorded, so I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see the losses. But uh, if you can't see them well, we have a loss by one right there. To pancakes, you know it's hard to beat pancakes. Lost by one to team fatigue. Lost by one to whoever that is, and a loss in a tie. So I believe that's 75 wars that they can post up there, something like that. And out of those 75, they've lost by a total of three stars in a tie. And the wins are not by one star. The most of the wins are just yeah, these guys are banging it out, man. Okay, next attacks by Living Dead. Now they they do a lot of similar attacks. This is the Quad Zapquake Laloon, and uh, you, you'll you'll see some similarities with their attacks. And and this is one of the theories that I have. It's the it's going back to the if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Laloon is really strong. They use the hell out of it. So, and that's not there's nothing wrong with that. If, if it's working, go with it. They do have some variations of it. They, all the guys have their own take on it. These guys are really competitive within each, within the clan. Uh, very supportive. It's just a great environment. Uh, if you're an elite attacker in Town Hall 9. And you happen to catch them while they're open. This would be a great clan for you to get in and, and learn. These uh. It's just. yeah, I can't say enough about them. The, the, just one of those experiences where. The guys that are in the clan have really earned it, and I'm proud of them, and uh, happy for them. So, okay, so just to give uh, a little 
a little explanation of the Laloon. The way this attack works is the first thing you try to do is draw out the clan castle troops and you try to and you try to take care of the queen. Once those objectives are taken care of, then you start putting in the lava hounds. You'll put in two lava hounds on the first air defense, and then you put another lava hound or two on the second air defense, and then you'll see the lava hounds kind of swing around the base. And as they're swinging around the base, you want to follow them around the base, either clockwise or counterclockwise with the balloons. You really don't want a sporadic disbursement of these balloons all over the place because that's going to get you in trouble. If you do this attack a lot, you'll you'll notice that you'll start running into these patterns. You'll either you if you if you're able to take out one air defense, which that's these goals these guys have a goal of taking out one, sometimes two air defenses before you start the air portion of the raid. If you are lucky enough to take out one air defense, now you've got three air defenses left. So when you put in those two lava hounds on the on the first air defense that's remaining, well, there's there's only one direction it's going to go into if you're if you're playing it smart, and so you know which direction the lava hound's going to go into. So you can kind of leave that lava hound with some more balloons. As a lava hound crosses over, it, what, what happens is it sits over the air defense. You'll put balloons in behind the lava hound. You'll haste them up to the air defense, or you'll rage them up to the air defense. If you're using three or four lava hounds, just keep in mind that you want them to pop. I, I I would suggest, and this is one of those things. It's really hard. It's easy to say, hard to do. You want one to pop over each air defense. So if you're using three, and you have three air defenses left, you want one to pop over each one. And as the last lava hounds over the last air defense, you want it to pop just before the air defense goes down. That way you have all those pups right there to clean up. Okay, just had to edit out like seven attempts on trying to say go la loon, which I got that on the first try, just for the record. On the eighth try of my of the actual tries. Jeez, I suck. Okay, so the go la loon, this this is has a has a bigger kill squad when you're going with Golem and Valkyries and the heroes. And the goal is usually you'll you'll take this attack in when there are two air defenses fairly close together to where you maybe let the wall break your way into the first compartment, and then jump over a wall that's uh, separating two two air defenses. And then you you know your goal is to go in with the golem, go in with the Valkyries, go in with the heroes, and hopefully take out two different air defenses. So you only have to deal with two air defenses once you get to the air phase. Because now in this base, this is a Town Hall 10. We're talking about it. This is a tough attack to get to pull off in Town Hall 10. It really is. I mean, this is a. I, I think it's tough. I don't know. I'm not the PB. Only PB I have is usually in my sandwich. <laughs> so, anyway. I think this attack so far has what? Been 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and he's already wiped out the entire base. He's already taken out all the air defenses. He's still got two haste up. He's got a lava hound up still. And this is after plowing through the Inferno Towers. For anyone out there that, that attacks Town Hall 10 with Laloon of any any sort knows that this is not an easy attack. Those those Inferno Towers melt these balloons uh, like, like ice on the stove. So it's just really difficult. Props to, to, to Keegs, if that's how you say your name, but I don't know. Hopefully I got it right. Uh, so, great attack. I think if if you're if you're keeping score at home, I think you can start to see how these guys have collected so many wins. They make it look so easy, and these just aren't easy attacks. So this next one's a goho, a variation of it. He's got Pe Pekka's in there with it. He's got uh, wizards in there with it too, and three golem. So this is the stony goho. Stony means they have it has three golems, I do believe, and. Right behind the golems, they have a, a, a bunch of wizards. Brings in the Pekka to help tank for all this, for all the wizards. Has the, brings the king and the queen. Has a jump spell. Now this is a little different attack than, than the La Loon. You have a very specific objective here. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take care of these clan castle troops because these clan castle troops will not be handled by these by these hog riders. Unlike the the La Loon, where the the pups from the lava hounds can pop and start managing the, the clan castle troops if need be, these hog riders will not do that. Uh, as the hog riders jump in over the walls, you have to make sure they stay inside the heel. You have to be really careful of where these giant bomb locations are and make sure you have a heal spell for the giant bombs. They're not like they used to be. They're not the 1.5 damage, so they don't just wipe them out if they go over a double. But we'll see, you'll, you'll, you're going to start running into bases that have the triple and quadruple uh, giant bombs. I know that I have them on almost all of my bases. That's one of the ways you stop some of these elite attacks, and the hog riders are no exception. So... 
they, we're going to see more and more hog riders as as time goes on and as people get their air bases uh, a little more people get more acclimated to defending the air right now people still don't know how to stop the air attack so you're seeing so much laloon it's it's you don't see the 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 pigs wow i need to have a little instruction manual in front of me so i can i, I can keep all these different names and these are not big names that was a pig that I, I couldn't figure out <laughs> so I think as, as time goes on you'll see more hog riders you'll see more of the ground attacks because people will start to figure out how to defend air better and as they start to defend air better the air attackers will start identifying the bases that they can't take from the air anymore and then they'll go back to the ground they'll go back to the hog riders they'll go back to the, the Valkyries they'll go back to some of these more dependable ground attacks Okay, next one is another Laloon. This is another quad Laloon, uh, quad zap quick Laloon, which means they're gonna take out two air defenses with with the spells. And this is this is always kind of scary for me because now he's gonna leave himself with no spells whatsoever. So it's gonna have to be a a, a perfect manipulation around the base with the the disbursement of the troops because he's not gonna have any spells to help push him along. So the first thing he's going to want to do is try to take out some of these air targeting defenses. So he goes right in after the uh, arch tower on one side. Getting ready to put in the lava hounds. Uh, right now he's trying to pull those clan castle troops. He gets the clan castle troops out. They have wizards. They have uh, baby dragon. Comes in and he puts a minion in. I, I believe he doesn't have any spells. So he's going to have to use that queen. Let me just love running into people the no, I don't really have problem running into people at the gym dear last time I saw people at the gym I was in high school <laughs> the kids just got back from the gym okay so back to the attack where was I oh yes no spells La Loon put, puts in the queen uh, clan castle has been taken out now he's gonna put in the lava hounds now you'll notice he's gonna disperse all these lava hounds and and the uh, and the balloons in a semicircle working right now from the top right he's gonna work around towards the bottom of the base and then kind of work in a uh, clockwise fashion I believe or my mega liar at me but you'll see all these all the balloons are now converging and they're heading down towards the south side of the base he has one balloon left he's gonna put that one last balloon in on the Tesla and already there's no no air defenses left uh, there's a wizard tower left there's not a lot of pu pups left so you can see this is a kind of risky attack even though he, he took out two air defenses doesn't really need all of the all the spells to get around because he doesn't have the, the air defenses to, to beat up the balloons and to beat up the lava hound so bad but because he had to use all those spells ahead of time he doesn't have any spells to rush, to push him through the base so you can see he's really light on 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 all the troops right now so he does does manage to get around to the last last defense he's got the pups on town hall I believe there was plenty of time left so I mean it's it's not really that close of an attack it just always seems like th these are a lot closer uh, a lot of people liked using the quad uh, the quad zap quake because they think it's a safer attack and I always think that it may be safer but it's always a little more stressful to watch I don't know but not complaining great attack by ninja great war for these guys we we missed the perfect perfect war by one I think seven or eight of us had a shot at a town hall 10 that just happened to defend over and over again against a uh, really good town hall nine attacks so 28 wins out of 28 attempts going for 29 i can't see them losing ever again they'll probably be the next undefeated clan <laughs> so hats off to the hats off to the guys really enjoy being here with them for the time being i can't wait till the next uh, video coming up pretty soon so appreciate everyone for watching if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, do me a favor, sub, sub to the channel for easy. Don't make me beg. It feels like I beg for these subs now. I'll stop paying people 50 cents a sub. <laughs> no, wait, don't, sorry, no, no, 25 cents a sub. 50 cents, no, can't do that. Anyway, enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. Till next time, it's been easy.